guys, M.A. Cars World checking in. Uh, I'm going to do a video on um, the Honda Civic Type R. Um, just a review, because um, I like the way it looks. I mean, I'm not, I like the way it looks, but personally, I wouldn't get it myself, but you know, other people would like to, you know, get some information on it. Or, you know, here startups. I'm gonna add a startup, a um, couple of pictures and stuff like that, so you can get a, you know, idea of what it looks like, what it sounds like, stuff like that. Um, so, um, like I said, it's a Honda Civic Type R, and it looks, it looks, it looks dope. I think it looks dope. Never this Civic guy. I mean, if I was gonna do like anything um, in the Honda brand, what they own, I would have to do an Acura and XS. That car is beautiful, but. If you don't have 170 grand and you want uh, cheaper insurance, because insurance for this, I already know it's super cheap because it's a Honda. And you know you get a, you get some power in it too. Um, they start at 34 grand, um, which is a little, which is a little much um, for a Honda, but it does have a lot, so I so I get it. Um, it does have 306 horsepower. Turbo from a two liter inline four with a six speed manual. Um, what else? It has 12 speakers. God damn, my Camaro ain't even got 12 speakers in it. Um, Apple Play navigation, uh, you know, all the stuff that you would expect to have in, um, in a car. Android Auto, I don't even have. I'm, have that in mind they need to hurry and put that update so i can get it in, in my camaro but um i don't have that yet um it's it has front strut suspension which honda calls a dual axis so it reduces the torque steering normally associated with the front with high power front drive vehicles um so you know it's competition would be the Volkswagen Golf GTI, Ford Focus RS, um, the Subaru w, uh, WRX. Um, those would be his main competition for that. Um, I've seen that they said it could have a little bit more thrilling exhaust note, but I'm, I'm assuming if you put an intake on them turbos, I don't already know it would be louder or change the exhaust on your own, so that's not really life or death, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, nice ride, I'm saying that's usually the consensus. Um, so the power, like I said, is 306, 306 horsepower and 295 foot pounds of torque. Zero to 65 seconds, uh, zero to 113.3 seconds. And a quarter mile, 13.6 inches, which actually isn't really bad, because, um, shoot, um, my lap, my first SS I ever bought was doing 13.3-ish uh, in a the, in the quarter mile. Um, so that's damn near faster than a, you know, SS. I mean, depending on who's driving, you know, because I'm not going to say I'm the best driver in the world, but, uh, you know, this... It's probably faster than a lot of um, V8s. Probably not nothing more uh, modern like the new SS, or of course not the Corvette or anything like that, but something like 2014 below, I'm sure it probably give what, 6.1 and run for its money. I'm, this car looks like it, and it's light, so uh, this car looks like it can, you know, do a few things, a few things, and of course I'm, it's Honda, so I'm sure it can turn. <laughs> Um, what else? Um, let me see. What else? What else? I think you guys know. And Mercedes got just pushing out 23 uh, pounds of boost. God damn. Um, I'm just trying to get you guys a little bit more information. I mean, it looks cool, man. Like, uh, it got the three pipes. Kind of, um... It's really, uh, it really looks really dope. I mean, I'm not, it's different. It's different. It's different. Um, it does run 245 30ZR20s. Um, 
So that's not bad. Um, and it's supposed to be from the from like the competitors from uh, the Subaru, Ford, and Volkswagen, like I said earlier, is about 5,400, 1,200 or 5,400 cheaper. So that's a big jump. And it looks dope. I think it looks way better than the other two, uh, personally. Um, so, I mean, and that's the reason why I'm doing a video. And plus Japan makes, Japanese makes wonderful fucking cars. So I would love to test drive one to see how it drives. Um, and hopefully if I do, I can add, um, you know, give another video just so you can see, you know, high drives and things like that. Um, my, what, what would I give it as far as one out of 10? <clears throat> I'm going to say a seven. I give it a seven. The reason I give it a seven because um, for me, I, I, I like, um, the only V6 that I would, I personally would want would be the Nissan. Well, it's not even V6, excuse me. I don't want any four cylinder, nothing personal. I mean, that's just not my thing. Um, but I, I already know this thing getting, you know, a couple of miles on this thing. This thing will be beast mode even more than what it already is. But for me, if I was going to do anything less than a V8, it'd be a V6 and that'd be only from the, um, Nissan GTR. I try to say V8, yeah, even with Japanese, like, man, the, the um, oh, excuse me, the NXX is a V6 too. Um, but I try to say V8, like the Lexus, RCF, um, the LC500, the the LS, or I think it's 500 now, um, all, all are V8. So I, I, I kind of want to try to stay in the V8 range because I love the way, I, I think it sounds a lot better personally. Um, but I, I mean, if, like I said, if you put that intake on there, I seen like a BMW 4 Series with like an intake on it and that, and that, and that little turbo spool with the intake, I mean, it sounds amazing. So I already know if you added it on this Honda, it'd be, be bananas. So that's what, what it would be once they make an intake uh, for it. That'd be, if, if, I, if I had one, um, that'd be my first mod would be um, an intake, you know, some different exhausts. Um, Something that won't make it sound too high pitched because that's usually like the the draw. They, people say the drawback is to having um, a Honda JDM is like you know it'd be uh, it'd be too high pitched. Like what you're gonna get there because it's a four cylinder. But it's I've seen some cool exhausts like that made them not so high pitched and they sounded pretty dope. So that'd be my other thing. Um, but like I said, for me it had to be a seven seven point five because it looks dope. I like the look. Um, it's not enough power for me um, from what I'm coming from. Um, it's a four center, not really in the mood for that. But you know what? I would get it for an everyday car. But even then, I st it'd be hard because it's a damn stick and I live in Atlanta. So if it was just a regular Honda, I would get it just for like an everyday car because they're amazing. But um, if I was racing them, then I would just get one. But it's fast as hell, though. I mean, that 13.3 quarter mile just. I mean, 13.6, excuse me, quarter mile is, is being a lot of stuff out here, man. Um, now, everything but a lot. So, uh, I'm looking forward to see what more is in stock. I mean, let me know what you think. Um, what would you add? Um, would you get one? Would you not get one? Let me know in the comments. Like I said, I'm about to have a little startup video video for you guys. And um, a little exhaust snow. Just, just, you know, see what you guys think. So, um, you know, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram at A Cars World, M A Customs One, and M A underscore the artist. Man, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Look out for more videos. I was supposed to do the ZR One before this one, but I just got a little sidetracked, and I thought, you know, I got a lot of Japanese friends and uh, Japanese homie and fans that you know would like to see this. Um, so, all my Japanese homies, if you got any other cars I should review or what I think about them, please let me know. I got you, M A. Check it out. Thank you.